Hello. Hello, hello. Happy Thursday. It is Thursday. Hello, hello. Hey there. Hello, hello. How was everyone's Thursday today? Was your Thursday doing okay? Let's see, let me turn me up. Can you hear me now? <clears throat> good Thursday? That's good. Good. Did you accomplish anything today? Was it a busy day? Just got off work. So we'll just wait for a couple more people to come in. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hey, Mountain Mama. Howdy. Hello. Just got back from cel celebrating my son's birthday. Awesome. Tell him I said happy birthday. How old did he turn? Unless he's a baby. <laughs> hello. I ordered from you today. Awesome. Thank you so much. It's storming there. Oh, no. Thank you. He turned six. Awesome. Well, happy birthday. All right. I think we got a lot of people in, so we'll go ahead and get started with the announcements. Um, hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. Um, so today we are going to be sublimating on a puzzle. So we'll be doing puzzles today. Um, and hopefully you guys have come up with an idea of what you want to see on the puzzle. Um, and if we have time, we will do a sublimation tumbler. So um, we did get a new product in today. We got the kids face mask. I don't know if you can see that. Let me open it. But this is a kid's size face mask. We got those in and those have the black loops and they will they will come with the adjuster for the ear. So um, if it is still a little too big, you can have the adjuster for the ear and that way it will fit them perfectly fine. Um, and they are lay flats. Um, and basically what that means is that there's no bumps that will cause um, any type of ghosting or you can't get in the seam. So they are flat lays and they are really good for sublimation. So we got the kid version. We got the youth, teenager, I would say woman size mask. And then we also got the large mask in. And this is for like adults and then, you know, uh, men. So we got all of the sizes in. They're all flat lays. Um, and I think they're really inexpensive. So if you guys are looking for masks, um, this will probably be, I don't know how many people are still going to be ordering masks, but depending on how well they do, um, it could be the last time we order um, the sublimation mask, just depending on how well they do. Okay. So we got all of those in today. So all three sizes, the small, the youth, and then the large. Picture frames. I actually have a couple of picture frames. Um, I haven't posted them, but this is how they look. I actually was talking to someone about this today, but this is the frame. And then on the back, it has all of the holes and it comes with one of these and you can pop it into any hole you want. And it sits like that. Or if you want it on your side, you can sit it like that. So I don't know if this is something you guys are interested in, but I have a couple of these. Um, I think about three left. So if you're interested, I can add it to the website, but um, they are fully sublimatable. So all the way until the edge, there's no uh, border. 
and you could sublimate on these. And they're kind of like a, a wood that has a poly coating already on it. I just haven't gotten enough interest on the picture frames, so um, I haven't posted them. But if you're interested, I can add them. We also, of course you guys know, we did a restock on the 20 ounce, um, so no room for picture. Yeah, you would sublimate the whole white part um, for a picture. So this whole um, white area is what you would sublimate on for the picture. Hello. Okay, um, we did get the 20 ounce white skinny tumblers in. These are 20 ounce fully straight non-tapered tumblers and they come with their own straw and their own box. We also have in stock the glow in the darks. So I will charge this one up. You have to let it sit in the light for at least 30 minutes for it to glow. So we have the glow in the darks still in stock. And then we have the 30 ounce tumblers. So this is a 20 and this is a 30. So we have all of that in stock still. Okie dokie. So now that we've gone over announcements, um, let's go ahead and get started. Have you guys figured out what you wanna put on the puzzle? I know last time we did a sunflower scene so we could do any type of scene that you want to do on the sunflower. Any ideas? Good evening. I got my package today. Disney butterflies. How, how did you like your package? Anybody have any ideas? So butterflies, two for butterflies. My dog's picture. I don't want to do my dog's picture just because I'm going to be giving this away. And Melly is doing the puzzle with us. So whatever we pick, she's probably going to do the same. Which is great. I know. I want to give it away, so I think we should do butterflies. All of your orders have been huge, so <laughs> what did you expect? Just a tiny little box? Your orders have been humongous, so we have to ship them in a huge box. Butterflies, butterflies. Okay, we'll do butterflies. Butterflies it is. Anyone know anyone in North Dakota or South Dakota? <laughs> We're trying to get an order for North Dakota or South Dakota. It's the hardest thing ever. We have only one, two, three, four states left and North Dakota and South Dakota is one of them. So um, we're trying to get it to where we can get the whole state, but for some reason we just can't get an order from North Dakota or South Dakota. So. Oh, and hello. I didn't tell you guys, but let me go grab one real quick. The magic mugs. <laughs> Minnesota. So the magic mugs are back in stock. Um, these are for sublimation. And I know some of you are looking at me right now thinking, girl, you can't sublimate on a black mug. Um, the great thing about the Magic Mug is it's a color changing mug. So basically, you will sublimate like normal and it will turn white. So when heat is applied, it's going to turn white. So if you have a hot coffee or hot tea in it, 
the mug is going to change to white and then when you wash it or rinse it with cold water it goes back to black so the idea is that you can't see the design on the mug until you add a hot drink and then once you rinse it out or put something cold in it it goes away Yep, really, really cool. I made a TikTok on this, um, but we have the Magic Mugs in stock. We don't have um, a lot in, so if that is something that you guys are wanting, uh, definitely get yours now. Um, they do take a, a while to get here because they have to go through, yep, for a gender reveal. That would be cool. They do take a long time to come um, because of the special coating that they have and then their color changing. So it does take a long time for them to come. But if you're interested, we have about 20 left. So if you're interested, we have some of these left. Okie dokie. Okay, so now we are going to get started with the puzzle. You guys are saying that you want to do uh, butterflies, so let's pick out a butterfly scene. Hello. All right, let's pick one out. Got, got bad news today. The Epson 15,000 ordered from Dell is delayed. Now delivering date is July 7th. Oh my gosh. Cancel it and then ask them if they have um, a store that they can have you just go pick it up from. All right, so let's go to Google. And let's type in butterfly, butterflies. I know that's far away. Butterfly wallpaper PNG. Okay. Okay, so this is definitely not what I was expecting. So let's do not PNG. Let's just put wallpaper. Okay. So that changed. Um this one looks pretty cool. But I don't know how the sparkle is going to come in. I really like this one. What do you guys think about this one? Because you want a puzzle to be hard, right? You don't want it to be easy to where they can just figure it out in five seconds. You want it to have some type of um, intriguingness to it, I guess. This one? Okay, let's do it. So... We have to go turn on the heat press for 400 degrees. So let's go heat that up. Oh, and Elena, I do have good news. And I think you know what that means. Too plain, too much white. But it would be hard because it's, it's rocks. But yeah, I guess you're right. I think it is probably too white for it for it to even make a difference. Yep. But I have to I'll text you after the live um and tell you, but there's a lot of stuff to it, but I'll text you about it. Okay. So, I think they're right. I can't tell everybody yet. So, <laughs> So, this one I can't share it yet. I can't share it until like I know a hundred percent. Um, so this one, it looks like it's hard, you know, but I don't think it's going to sublimate, right? Really what I think it is. So let's try a different one. We need this one, this purple one. 
I don't know how the purple is going to look because it has like those sparkle dots in it. You know? I don't want anything sparkly. So let's try to, and that's not going to show through on like. I don't know. I really like the one with the. But I guess we can just pick that one. Unless you like this one. Yeah, I want a lot of color because I want to show you guys the color. But I don't want anything with... So this one. Majestic Creations Co. This one. Okay, Melly said go down. There's one with one on a flower. Oh, this one. This pink butter, that's not pink. She said go down. There's one. Oh, that one? That's hard. What about this? Hold on. That's ugly. I don't like that. I don't know. I think we should do, I don't like the, the one on the flower because it's just, I like this one on a flower, but I feel like it's too boring. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do this puzzle at all. This would be a hard puzzle. Okay, so I think we should just stick to the basics and just do this purple one. What do y'all think? This purple one? Y'all like this one? Okay, we'll do it. All right. Whoa. Okay, we're going to do this one. I'm trying to get my phone set up here so y'all can see. Okie dokie. I'm trying to change the filter to log okay that way y'all can see pretty good okay so we're gonna save this image oh it's not gonna let me let me see if I can click it open and it'll let me do it that way I don't think it's going to let me but let's see Nope, it won't let me. So we can't download it. So next option. This blue, this purple one. Or this one. That's too water. That's too watery. I think we should do this one. Teal. Teal or pink. Okay, we'll do teal. All right, let's see if we can save this one. Yep, we can save it. Okay. All right, so now we can go to Silhouette. And you guys know that anyone that purchases the next order, you will get this puzzle. If it turns out good. Okay. So the first thing I like to do, and you guys know, um, I like to measure so no matter how many times I do it, I just love to measure to make sure I'm getting what I'm supposed to print out. You know, you don't want to print too big and you don't want to print too small. So just measure to make sure you know how big you have to make your print. So this is a eight by six. So we're going to make it just a little bit bigger than that. But those are going to be the measurements for the puzzle. So I'm going to show you guys how to size it. Yep. Go off my measurements, Melly. All right. 
So I think for this we can use an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Which printer are you guys wanting me to use? The 15,000 or the 2720? Fifteen thousand, fifteen thousand. So two for fifteen thousand, three fifteen thousand. Did you get your um paws and coffee studio? Did you get your fifteen thousand today? Fifteen? Okay, we'll do the fifteen thousand. Um, but you can do this on any printer. So the paper size you for the puzzles you can do it any. So what did I say? Eight by six. So we're gonna make it like a not yet delivered tomorrow. Okay, good. So eight point, I think two, and then the height is like six point two. I think that's fair. Okay, so we're gonna go to file and then merge. Melly, did you get the measurements? All right. Hopefully, this design looks good. I don't think this design is a good design, y'all. I mean, I guess. I know I'm gonna rotate it but because remember if you rotate it, it's gonna it's gonna print that way so I want it to make sure that it's going to print the way we want it so which butterflies do y'all want this these two or these two yeah I don't like this butterfly but y'all like it so Yeah, I'm going to. I just want to know what, um, which two butterflies do y'all want? Do you want the two smaller ones or this, the medium one and the large? I think this would be good. But then it looks boring. Medium and large. Like that. Okay. Okie dokie. So, um, okay. Crop out the water. I don't know exactly how I'm going to crop it. I guess we can just print it like that. Because it's only going to print what's in the border. So we'll just do that. Okay. Because I don't want to have to export it and all that stuff. So we'll just do it like that. Okay. So... You said the 15,000 y'all want to see. I got to mirror it. So hold on. Let me mirror it. Okay. So. Let me get the paper. This paper is the eight and a half by 11. That's what we're going to use for the puzzle. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm going to add it to the 15,000. And I'm changing the paper size. Okay, now let's hit print. Hopefully it doesn't come out grainy. Melly, did you already print yours? I would suggest waiting so that way you can see if it's grainy or not when I do mine. So if we have time after we do the puzzle, we'll make the tumbler to match this. So if we have time after we do the puzzle, which I think we will, We'll make the mommy version of this one. I made this today, guys. The seam is there. But, I mean, I'm working on it. I got to get it perfect, but it's not perfect yet. So we're gonna do the, um, yeah, we're gonna do the mommy one. So let's hope we have enough time. So while we wait for this to print, I'm going to tell you guys what's going to be in stock tomorrow. So the sublimation wraps for the tumblers, they're going to be back in stock. The notebooks, so you guys wanted the notebooks, those are going to be back in stock tomorrow. The ceramic shot glasses are going to be back in stock and the shooter shot glasses are going to be back in stock and the keychains. So the keychains are going to be back in stock. The shooter shot glasses, the ceramic shot glasses, the notebooks, and the wraps for the tumblers. So we're getting a couple of shipments in, and they will be here tomorrow by 11 a.m. So I'm going to put those back in stock so that way if you guys need any of that, you can purchase. Oh, and I think tomorrow, it's looking okay so far, but I can't really tell until I, you know, put it up in my face, but it's looking okay. Um, also, I forgot to tell you, tomorrow the cotton candy hats, um, the tie-dye hats are going to be in stock. Only the color cotton candy, though. I know you guys wanted other colors, but I could only get accessible right now, cotton candy. The rest are going to be in like sometime next week. But the cotton candy hats are going to be back in, well, in stock tomorrow. Not back in stock. You guys wanted dark blue, pink passion, light blue, ocean, purple passion, and raspberry mint. But I could only get cotton candy so far. I'll show the cotton candy hat. Yep, I'll show you. I mean, it's okay. It's not my cup of tea, but if you guys like it, then... Yes, you use a heat gun for shrink wrap. 
If you guys like it, then I'll proceed. But if you don't like it, then I won't use it. You guys tell me. You want me to use it? You like it? Okay, we'll do it. And then before we do that, let me show you the hat. Let me pull up the hat. Because the cotton candy hats are going to be in tomorrow, which I'm super happy about. Okay. All right, this is the cotton candy hat. See if I can. So those are gonna be in stock tomorrow. Okay, so let's try to do this puzzle. I don't, I'm not really pleat, because the sunflower puzzle was the two, the only keychains we carry. It's the double-sided keychain. Yep, those are gonna be in tomorrow. So tomorrow, the cotton candy hats are gonna be in, the double-sided keychains, the shooters, the ceramic shot glasses and the notebooks and the tumbler wraps are going to be in. So we already have the shot glass wraps, but the tumbler wraps are going to be in. So all of that is going to be posted tomorrow. And if you're signed up for our email list, then I'm going to shoot out an email in the morning to remind you. So. I don't, I truly don't like this design, y'all, but I'm going to do it for y'all. Okay, so it fits perfectly. Duh. I just think it's going to be hard. Like, really hard. But... So right now I'm just sizing it, cutting it down. So this bottom of the butterfly is going to be cut off. Oh, well. The tumbler wrap. Right. For the tumbler wrap, you would just take your tumbler. And then you're gonna hold the wrap and then wrap it around your tumbler like this. And you're just gonna pull it tight around the tumbler, keep pulling it, keep pulling it, keep pulling it, and then add a piece of heat tape and then pop it in your convection oven. So it's for one, it's for the tumblers, and then we have one for the shot glasses. And a couple of the um, people that are in the live right now, they've actually bought them and they said that they really like them. So, um, it just depends. The only reason you're probably getting ghosting is due to it not being tight. Um, so if you're not using shrink wrap or if you're not putting enough tape, um, the shrink, this will, I mean, it could help, but you, it just depends on how tight you pull it. 400 degrees. No. So the purpose of the tumbler wrap is so that way you can eliminate you can eliminate the shrink wrap. Oh. How did it turn out? What is ghosting? Um it's basically a double I'm I meant can I stand it up using the wrap? Yep. It's like a fading. It's like a shadow of the reg original image. All right, so let's go to the press and let's go ahead and press this.
Oh, y'all, let me tell y'all what just happened. I turned my heat press on, and it heated up to 325 from yesterday. Okay, so now it's heating back up. Yeah, um, either more tape or more pressure. Another thing is you want to make sure that you um, have a um, heat resistant thermometer in your oven. Because if you're using an oven, even though it's brand new, sometimes those ovens say that they're reaching 400 degrees, but they're not. There's a big difference between 390 degrees and 400 degrees. Um, so always make sure that you get a heat resistant thermometer to put in your oven. But I wouldn't use the silicone. So if I want to make sure it's right, the masking tape would work. I've never tried the masking tape method. Oh my God, I think I fucked up. <laughs> oh man. Mine said 400 when it's set to 375. Yep, so that's probably another reason you're not at the correct temperature. Hook it up to an extension cord in another room. That's what I do. It's too much power. Um, this shirt, I didn't make. I bought this shirt. It's a Simply Southern shirt. So I didn't make this shirt. Um, but if you wanted to do a um, shirt that's double-sided, you would just press the smaller design first. So if I was doing a shirt like this, I would press this design first and then the one on the back. So we're at 359, so let's go ahead and prep. I'm going to lay this piece of butcher paper down. I'll make it work. Okay, so how you want to do it is I keep the card, there's a piece of cardboard that comes with your puzzle. So I keep the cardboard underneath the puzzle. And the reason I do that is because you don't want it to like, hey, we're making a puzzle. So I keep the cardboard underneath just so that way it stays all together, right? You don't want a piece coming off. Um, so I like to keep the cardboard underneath. So we're gonna lay the cardboard down and then the puzzle on top. Then we're gonna lay our design down. And then we're gonna take our piece of tape and we're gonna tape down, whoa. We're gonna tape down the transfer on top, but only to the butcher paper, not on the actual puzzle itself, right? Because you have to rip it off pretty fast. So if it's connected to the puzzle, it's too hot for you to touch, you're gonna be struggling and then you'll get a lot of ghosting. So just tape it down to the actual butcher paper and not the puzzle itself. Next, we're going to put a piece of butcher paper on top, and now we're gonna press for 
400 degrees at for 60 seconds, medium pressure. So 400 degrees, 60 seconds, medium pressure. All right. Let's see how it turns out. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I really, truly didn't like the design. So we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. We'll see. Okay. It will turn out great. I have faith in you. I just, I have faith in myself too. I just don't like the design. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so we're gonna take the first piece of butcher paper off. All right. There you go. Yep, 60 seconds. You guys like it? I'm still eh. I'm still went on it. I'm not really a fan. It's really hot. So it's really cool to have this tabletop because this is pretty cool. Yeah, Elena, I'm not really feeling it, but it's cute. Yay. So guys, if you don't know right now, um, Melly, she's doing the same puzzle. Um, but she did the same design, but she just moved it differently and placed it differently than us. So it's really, really cool. Yeah, same. I feel that way. The colors are beautiful. I mean, if you look right here, the shading in the blue, the detail is amazing. Um, and then if you can look closely, you see like there's some sparkle to it right in the puzzle itself so that color is amazing but just not my favorite pick it's pretty cool and then we'll take off a little piece so you guys can see but you just take one piece off. Oh, we weren't. We weren't. Melly just wanted to try it. Because she had just got her new computer. So she was just making sure that her colors came out good and everything like that. So she was just trying it with this cardboard. Yep. And then there's one piece of the puzzle missing. And then you'll just pop it right back in place. It's cute. I don't really like it, but it'll do. It's not that cute. And then I wanted to show you the ink release. Right? So that ink release is amazing. Really nice ink. Really nice colors. And yes, I guess we have time for a tumbler. Oh, you guys. All right, I guess we're going to do a tumbler. We're going to match the mini. So let me get my ring light up. Uh, we sell them as blanks. 
I love how glossy it is. I sent you the email. Not sure how big the picture is going to be. Okay, let me pull it up. Okay, let me see. She, uh, she sent me an email, so I want to pull up hers real quick. Yeah, we have time for tumblers today, guys. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm telling you right now. She she emailed me. I'm going to um. Gosh, I feel like I need to set an alarm because I'd be missing it. <laughs> I'm going to show the picture. Let me see if she's if I got it yet. Did you email it to me? I'm not I'm not too excited to do the Tumblr. I'm a little nervous cuz I have an audience and I feel like when I have an audience I mess up. So I don't want to mess up and ruin a blank, right? But Melly, did you email it to me cuz I don't have it yet? practice makes perfect no way you're always so good i did what's your email again i'll double check and make sure it's sent to the right one it's it's peachtree market co at gmail i will buy it do it <laughs> okay so here we go we have to do this tumbler guys i'm so nervous Cause I feel like I'm, I'm not good at seams, you know, like the seam in the back. I mean, that's good. Kind of. Um, so let's see. Okay. Melly, maybe it's just taking a minute to come through since it's a picture. All right, so I guess now we have to do the tumbler. I'm really nervous if you guys don't know. I'm super nervous. I just, I don't want to mess it up. Um, unfortunately, I can't do a basketball one because we're going to match this one. Um, I already have it um, kind of designed and ready to go. Um, so unfortunately, I can't do a basketball one. I'm sorry. If I would have known ahead of time, I could have did a basketball one, but... Um, all right, so let me go to my downloads. Etsy, Etsy, Etsy. Okay. All right, so I'm trying to pull up. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, so let's go to Design Space. Not Design Space. Uh, Silhouette Studio. I'm sorry. Let's go to Silhouette Studio. Yep. Yep. That's why I wanted to show you guys um, the Mommy and Me set. You definitely have to do a lot of practice, um, but it'll come out good, I think. So, let's see. Tumblr. Hey there. I'm making you a moderator. Okay. Can we, sh can you show your printer settings? Yep, I can. Just give me one second. I'm just trying to download it. 9328.2. Okay. All right. Make sure you have your screenshot ready. Can you 
guys see? I feel like it's foggy. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me clean my screen. I don't know what happened. There we go. I know. Now it's not. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Okay. So here is the file we're going to use. It says Mama. And we're using this one so we could match Mini. Right? That's cute. So... You want to make it 9.32. Oh, it's already it's already there. So we're going to go to object and flip. And then we need to rotate it. I don't know if it's going to fit in the line. No, it's not. Okay. So I got to... Um, go to an 11 by 17 sheet to use this file. So we're going to use 11 by 17. Okay. So now we're going to go back and open this up. All right, there we go. Just want to make sure we have enough. We're going to flip it. And these are some freebies, so we'll throw in these little freebies. I'm going to try to make a couple more. Rotate. Okay. So this is me just filling in the paper because I don't like to waste paper. Um, so now we're going to go to print. But if you guys are needing... Um, the template for a full skinny tumbler. Your width is going to be 9.320 and your height is going to be 8.20. So those should give you really good measurements when it comes to a straight tumbler. You can adjust if needed, but this will only work for a straight tumbler. All right, so let's go to print settings since you guys want to see the print settings. I mean, they're really, really not that special, but we'll show you guys. Okay, so take a screenshot. Everyone right now, take a screenshot, and that way you can see the width and the height. That's how much you need for a full straight 20 ounce tumbler. Take a screenshot. Yep. You got it. All right. So let's go to file and print. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna use the 15,000 and we're gonna go to color matching. For color matching, I use Epson color controls. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a second to write or to screenshot. Let me know when you got it. Okay, so next we're going to move over to paper handling. You never have to worry about, okay? So in your drop down, there's going to be paper handling. You don't need to worry about that. You don't need to worry about cover page. We're not printing um, a cover page. I have a download for this. It's a dollar on my website. So if you really need this instruction, it would be great if you guys could purchase it from my website. It's only a dollar, um, but if you can't, then... That I totally understand, but 
that's why I made it into a digital file so that way you guys could always have it um, it is on the website for one dollar so all of these printing settings are on my website so for cover page obviously you don't need anything because you're not you're not doing anything legal or you know needing a cover page um, the big one is the print settings so print settings you want to put the paper source as auto select unless you want to use the paper tray. Um, me, I just put auto select because the printer is going to know where it's printing from. Your media type, you could do two options. You could do presentation paper mat or you could do premium presentation paper mat. Those are the two that you want to work with. I would recommend you doing test prints on both to see if you can see a difference. Me personally, I can, and I like the presentation paper mat. That's just me personally. But you never want to do glossy, semi-gloss, envelope, letterhead, plain paper. You never want to do any of those settings. You want to do presentation paper mat or premium presentation paper mat. Okay? For the print quality, you want to make sure that it's on best quality. Some computers might say high quality or high uh, mine says best, so I check best. Now, here is where it's going to get um, a little important. So, as you guys know that I like to mirror my images. Do you see my, my images are mirrored right now? So, this box right here, if I check this box, since I've already mirrored all of my designs, the printer is going to print, print them unmirrored, right? Because I already mirrored them. So if you have an issue mirroring your images, then check this box. If you're going to forget to mirror, check this box. You don't want to waste sublimation paper and you don't want to waste sublimation ink. But if you remember, like I do, to mirror every time, then you do not want to check this box. Okay? Okay. And then after that is your color options. So this is gonna be a little different for everyone, but for me, um, I do off no color adjustment. So basically what that means is that the printer is not going to adjust the colors. So this nude is a nude brown beige. Um, this yellow is gonna print that yellow, that shade of yellow. That blue is gonna print that shade of blue. They're not going to make it darker or lighter or anything else it's going to be off no color adjustment. Now this is the settings that I use on my older computer, um, just because this computer is older. Our other computer, the settings are a little different and the settings on that computer is the one that is listed on my site. So you get great colors with both, but this is the ones that I'm using today, okay? Two-sided printing, you don't need to worry about that. And then your supply levels, you don't need to worry about that either. All right. So let's go ahead and print it out. We need to take it over to the 15,000 since we're going to be using 11 by 17 paper. So let's head over there to the 15,000 again. Okie dokie. And now get the 11 by 17 paper. This is the paper that I use, 11 by 17. Okay. And I'm gonna change the paper size on the printer. All right, and now we are going to print. It's gonna take a second.
Now while this is printing, I'm going to go turn on the convection oven. Any questions so far, guys? You guys have been quiet tonight. Any questions, guys, on printers, paper, any questions? No questions? Oh, I have not done sublimation yet. If I wanted to get into what would I need and what are the start. Waiting for your next message. Startup calls. Um, it just depends on what you want to do, um, but I have a link in my bio that shows everything that you would need. Um, so I would suggest maybe adding all of that to your cart. I think it's around, what did we say last time? It just depends on the printer. So if you get the 2720, that's 200 plus your ink, that's 40. Paper, 20. I'd say about 500. 500 to be safe. Of course. Yep, I think about 500. Yes, I do help with Shopify or Etsy. So if you're needing help, you can schedule a call with me. Does it make a difference in picture quality when supplementing using a heat press versus an easy press? I don't think so. You just have to make sure you use the appropriate pressure when using a Cricut Easy Press because I started with that. I didn't I didn't just get a press. Presses are expensive. I have all my supplies now. We'll be getting set up this weekend. Can't wait to get started. I'm excited for you. I know you've been waiting and waiting for your stuff to come in. What's a good setting for the 2720? 2720 printer for sublimation paper and ink we just went over the settings um but you could head over to my website i have a download it's one dollar and it will help you with your printer settings i need to refill my inks 
tried it for the very first time yesterday and didn't turn out the way it should. Oh no. What did you what did you sublimate on? I tried I feel like the easy press leaves a line though. Maybe I'm pressing too hard. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> You're pressing too hard. And are you just pressing on the table or are you pressing on a pressing pad? Will Procreate be good for sublimation? Is it compatible? I'm not sure. I don't have an iPad. I got one of those easy press minis. Will that work on hats? It should. Did my first tumbler today and it burned it bummed and so i can't read that and so bum it's not vibrant oh and you're so bummed it's not vibrant and remember sublimation is a heat activated dye so some prints are going to look light until you heat activated it with the press So here is our colors. Boom. Really, really pretty. Then the that's a new print. I'm putting this on the website tomorrow. I did stuff backwards, ordered all this stuff, and now can't get a printer. I'm so frustrated. I'm sorry. Yeah, I definitely have to get an iPad, y'all. Cosmos Inc. All right, let's get started. Okay, so personally, I know you guys are going to hate me for this, but personally, I think I should use shrink wrap. And the only reason I'm saying I should use shrink wrap um, is because my silicone wraps are not in stock. So if I use the silicone wrap, I think that all of you guys are wanting to buy it or you're gonna want one and I don't have any to give you, you know? So I think that I should use shrink wrap because I have a whole bunch of shrink wrap in stock and I have tumblers in stock. So I think shrink wrap is more accessible to everyone. Um, I hope that you guys are okay with that. I just don't have any of the tumbler wraps in. And I don't want to use it. And then you're like, oh my God, I want one. And I'm like, I have zero. I have none until tomorrow, you know? So I think that's fair, right? Because I have a whole bunch of shrink wrap in stock. Okay. And then maybe um, you guys can learn how to do shrink wrap. I've gotten a couple questions about how to use it. So I think it'll be a good tutorial on that. Um, especially because the tumbler wrap... Um, I think the tumbler wrap is a little bit more of experience. So it's not, you can buy it if you're just starting out, but you definitely wanna practice with it first. You don't wanna just start off with it, right? You wanna practice um, because it is a technique. So it, I would say it's a little advanced, right? Shrink wrap is a little easier. So let's do it the easiest way. All right, so the first part we're going to wipe down your tumbler. Okay, let's so wipe it down. Wipe down your tumbler. Um, I just got one off of Amazon. I think the one I have is in the link in my bio. No more tumblers. What do you mean? They're out of stock. Oh, God. Yeah, they're in stock. Yep, the 20 ounce and the 30 ounce are in stock and the glows. They are in stock. Okay. Yep, you can sublimate on flask. Mm-hmm. Uh, what ink are you using? Ink has a lot to do with it. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna cut it out, obviously. We're gonna cut it out, cut it out. What ink do you use? And some designs are gonna look less vibrant. You know, I've had designs that that doesn't look good and then they press good, you know? Because sublimation is a heat activated dye. So you have to put it in some type of heat for it to actually show its true colors. So sometimes you'll have a design that looks green, but it's supposed to be blue. And the only reason it's showing a different color is because you have to, you know, press the design. So here is the heat gun I use. Nothing special. I got it off of Amazon. The link is in my bio for the heat gun. Okay, now this is the interesting part. I use Cosmos ink. Okay. All right, so let's let's see if I can do this, yeah. Yes, it is the best for sure. So I'm gonna pick in the middle, obviously. 400 degrees. Then we're gonna wrap it. And I don't like the seam. I think it's too much so I think I need a trim just a tad hey let the image lap so that way it'd be seamless then tape it down run your nail up the seam I guys, I'm telling you, I know I know how to wrap it, but I'm telling you, I just am not good about lining it up. I feel like it's I suck at it. I suck at it. All right. Let me cut this off some more. Oh my god, guys. Yep, the printer settings is good for any eco tank. As long as you download your drivers. If you don't download your drivers, it's not going to work. All right. I don't like it. Too much? I think that's good. Okay. I think it's good. Okay. Okay. That's enough tape. All right, now I'm gonna tape the top and then the bottom.
I, I don't know. I'm scared. Okay. Now I'm doing the bottom. No, you cannot. Please do not use your regular oven. Please do not use your regular oven. Get a one that's designated just for sublimation. Okay. I think it looks good. I think it looks good. So we'll see. Why the laughing emojis? Okay. So this is shrink wrap. Oh yeah, but it has to be just for sublimation. So if you have a toaster oven already that you make pizza in or whatever you're making in it and you cook your regular food in it, as soon as you put a sublimation tumbler, that now becomes a sublimation oven. So you can't use it anymore for regular food. All right. Yep. So this is a piece of shrink wrap. We do sell these on the website. Um, so basically after you tape up your tumbler, like I did, you're going to take your shrink wrap. It's like a little sleeve. You see, it's a sleeve. Then you're gonna slide it on the tumbler. So I'm just gonna hold mine down. Slide it on. Okay. So it's slid on. Now you're going to take your heat gun. There's two settings, low and high. You're just going to run your heat gun until it starts shrinking. See? That's why it's called shrink wrap. It shrinks when it's heated. And the purpose, nope, you don't need this for the press. And the purpose of the shrink wrap is to make it tight. That's the whole purpose of sublimation. Yeah, it's on high. You don't want to do it long. Okay. There we go. It's really tight. It's on there. All right. So now we are going to put it in the convection oven for four at 400 degrees for about four minutes and 30 seconds. No, unless you're just breathing them in. With this shrink wrap being on there, the fumes are not going to affect me at all. I don't know if you can see, but my fan is on as well. Um, with the heat press, you can't make a tumbler with the heat press. You could make one with a mug press or a tumbler press um, but I don't have that in yet, the tumbler press, um, and I wouldn't be able to show you since we're doing one already with the shrink wrap. Right, exactly. You just have to wrap it tight and then tape it down with the silicone wrap. So we're gonna put this in the convection oven, 400 degrees for four minutes and 30 seconds. So if you have a A-L-E-X-A, mute her because I'm going to go turn mine's on. Okay, here we go. Alexa, set a timer for four minutes and 30 seconds. Four minutes and 30 seconds, starting now. Here we go. All right, and then this is the mini we made. I made this today. So we're going to match the mama.
So let's see how it turns out. I don't know. So let's see. And all of these white spots, what do you mean white spots? Um, thank you. So um, all of the tumblers are in stock on our website. So the 20 ounce tumblers, we have the 30 ounce tumblers, which are humongous, 30 ounce. Um, you have to tape it down more. Sure. I just sell them as blanks. The only reason I'm doing it is because you guys have begged me to do a tumbler. Um, I typically don't do tumblers. I just do um, blanks. I just sell them as blanks. This is the seam. So it's okay. Not the best. Let me check. And this is the 30 ounce tumbler. Yep, so we took the tumbler, wiped it down, added the transfer, and then added shrink wrap. I'm checking right now, Melly, if I got the email. I mean, I'm not really going to plan, I'm not planning on selling it. Um, I was just going to gift it away. Oh, I got it. I, I, me personally, I don't sell personalized tumblers at all. Um, I don't sell them. Um, I just, I just don't have a desire to. Um, shirts I will do, mugs I'll do, really anything besides a tumbler, just because I'm not really good with the seams. So, I mean, if I did sell it, it wouldn't be, it would be next to nothing, just because it's, I'm not confident and I don't like the quality. Um, but that's just me. Um, I really just sell blanks. Not true. Add your lasagna in your oven and then add your sublimation tumbler and I bet you you wouldn't want to eat it. You probably couldn't taste the difference right away, but doing it every single day and continuing to put sublimation fumes in your, um, your oven is definitely going to affect you. Oh, Melly, we got your picture. Oh, the, um, the apron came out great. I've already sent it out. But this is Melly's, um, guys, everyone take a look. This is her puzzle. So she did a puzzle while we were doing the puzzle. She picked the same image we did. Her colors look amazing. I'm so happy. And I'm so happy she did it. So good job. Great job. I'm so proud of you. And I think it, you see, I think it was your computer this whole time, right? You were having problems. I think it was just your computer. But look at this, guys. This is a 12 ounce. Well, this is a 20 ounce, right? And this is a 30 ounce. Humongous. <laughs> huge huge I can't wait to see someone make something with the 30 ounce that's going to be fun you didn't receive any tequila I think I drunk it all before I gave it to you <gasps> Alexa is ready okay let me go get it real quick let me put my gloves on Here's a tumbler. I gotta rip it off. So this is the this is the hard part. You gotta get it off while it's hot. If not, you're gonna have some problems. So let's get this bad boy off. Get it off while it's hot. Woo, 
Get it off while it's hot, y'all. Don't wait. Hold on, my hands is hot. Hold on. Hold on, my hands hot. There you go. My hands are hot. Hold on. Yes, you can. And you want to see the seam? Can you see it? Barely. So it's it's pretty good. I think I did a good job. You can't see the seam. I did not make the image. Thank you, thank you. So it's cooling down. Let it cool down. I got some heat tape still stuck on it. Okay. I know, I'm getting better. It's not the best, but I'm getting better. So you can order the 20 ounce sublimation tumblers we do have them in stock, so if you're needing some, we have some. And then I'm gonna show you guys side by side, Mama and Minnie. Okay. I'll probably just email him because I don't wanna I don't want to show everyone because the buy-in has already stopped. So I don't want to show everyone, but Hugo, I can email it to you. Mama and Minnie. Mama Minnie. How do you purchase it? I don't know if I should sell it. No, I just use shrink wrap. Um, let's see. Hold on. Jennifer. Jennifer, you asked how do you purchase the blanks. Um, they're on my website, Peachtree Market Co. So if you guys are needing blanks, we have the sublimation blanks. We have 20 ounce tumblers, 30 ounce tumblers. We have the sippy cups. We have the glow in the dark tumblers and I've been charging it this whole time. Um, so that way you guys can see it. So I'm excited. We'll turn off the lights and show you the glow in the dark one. But we have all kinds of sublimation blanks in stock. So I'm super, super excited for that. And guys, I'm really proud of myself. This, this seam looks good. It's not perfect, but it's there. Okay. 
You should, you did awesome. Are they insulated? Yeah. So right now I just put my hand in there and that's why I reached back, it's still hot in there. You can really only see it in the middle. I know, I think I did a pretty good job if I would have just, you know, put it in a little bit. Oh shoot, left for, for a minute and missed the cup. No, I can still show you. Tomorrow. So tomorrow, tomorrow the keychains are going to be back in stock. You guys wanted the keychains. You guys wanted the shooter shot glasses. Those are going to be back in stock. The ceramic shot glasses are going to be back in stock. The notebooks are going to be back in stock. And the um, sublimation wraps are going to be back in stock. Um, so you're asking how do we shrink wrap? So basically all you do is you take a piece of shrink wrap, we sell it on our website, then you slide in the tumbler like this, and then you take your heat gun and shrink it with the heat gun and then put it in your convection oven. V93, did you get that? So you just take the shrink wrap and slide it over the tumbler and then take your heat gun and shrink it down and then put it in your oven. Um, I did four minutes and 30 seconds. For the sippies, I do three minutes and 30 seconds and then for the tumblers, I do, um, I think it's four minutes and 30 seconds. The tumblers are dishwasher safe. You can put them in the dishwasher a thousand times and it's never gonna look any different. Sublimation is 100% permanent. Oh, what time is the restock? Oh, I'm gonna send out an email in the morning. I usually do my Friday restocks around eight Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. Um, so we'll do that. Awesome, I'm so excited for you. Um, tomorrow it's going to be around 8 a.m. Um, so it just depends. I can tell you what size shirt um, are you looking to get a transfer for. Yay, I'm excited to get your order too for you to get your order. Um, you should, you did awesome. How much, how to pitches in bulk? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Someone asked, how do I purchase this set? I really don't know if I should sell this. What about the silicone wrap? The silicone wrap, it's the same way. You just take the tumbler and wrap the silicone wrap around the tumbler and then put it, um, put the heat tape around the silicone wrap. And the oven was set at 400 degrees for the mugs and the time is different. So for mugs, it's 400 degrees at 12 minutes. Um, Shandy... Zwayne, um, <laughs> Zandy, um, Shandy Zwayne, um, I think that an air fryer will work. I've seen people do it on YouTube, but I don't know. T. Annette, you said about purchasing the set. I, I, I mean, you really want the set, just email me. Send me an email. If you really want it, send me an email. Send me an email and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> Extra large, T. Riley, 1333. For an extra large, you wanna get about a 10 inch or an 11 inch. Sell it, it looks great. Raffle the set. Sell it, girl, you did great those. I would definitely buy it. I think you should sell it. Could we do hat one day? Looks hard because it's bulky. Um, so you can't sublimate on the actual hat, you would just sublimate on the patch. So you would sublimate on just the patch and then attach the patch to the hat. Say that a 10 times. 
Say that 10 times. So this is the transfer and this is the shrink wrap. This is why I don't like shrink wrap. But it did turn out good. But the silicone wraps, for those of you who bought the silicone wraps and you've used them, you see now that you can reuse the silicone wrap over and over and over again and you don't have to worry about this, right? If you started with a different sublimation ink, can you change the ink? Yeah, you can, but you would have to wait until it's super low, then add the new ink on top. I don't know. You're welcome. How long does it take? How long do you do it in there? And do you, you still use shrink wrap? Oh, I guess you're talking about, um, the air fryer uh courtney we did a puzzle and we did the tumbler so we did both of these courtney you missed it girl <laughs> it's okay I think now I'm getting more confident with the tumblers I don't know I might do some more tumblers don't put yourself down those look good it's a nat it you are natural <laughs> I think they're cute too I just personally I don't like the seam so like I'm really like big on it has to be perfect all the way around and if it's not then I get upset so I don't know if you guys, I just got back from the water park. The water park? Which water park you go to? I want to go. They look good. Um, I'm going to pull up the, I'm going to pull up the calendar for tomorrow. Unless somebody already did. Mmm, Adventure Island. So tomorrow we are doing Shopify. I know. <laughs> Guys, I, I literally asked y'all what is on the calendar. I should just print it myself, right? So tomorrow it's, <laughs> tomorrow is Shopify. So tomorrow we're gonna be talking about Shopify. It doesn't look like there's a project, but of course we'll add a project. So tomorrow, make sure tonight, you guys, um, definitely, <laughs> oh, let me tell you guys what, what, what we're talking about. Hold on. So if you go to, if you go to my Facebook group, this is my Facebook group, guys. So go to my Facebook group. It's called Peachtree Market Co. Sublimation Help. Okay. And then we have in our announcements, we have our calendar posted and we have a lot of information in there as well, but this is the calendar. And I tell you guys that we go live Monday through Friday on TikTok and you just click it and then you can download it and you can see every single project we're going to do. So every single day we, we used to just like come on live and say, okay, what do y'all want to do today? But we decided to make a calendar so that way you guys can know what's happening. So tomorrow we're doing Shopify and going over print settings. So we should definitely um, do add a little project in there. But again, Monday is Etsy Q&A. Then on the 13th, we're doing a Starbucks cup. Um setting up a website, understanding Canva, screen print transfers. I mean, like we're jam packed in the whole month. So if you're wanting the calendar, you can actually go to my Instagram. If you don't have Facebook, you can go to my Instagram and I made a whole post about it. I think it's the third to last, uh, the third to recent posts and you can just screenshot it. Um, what time zone is San Diego? 
time zone San Diego. Um, so this, so 8 p.m. to 5. So you got to get on at 5. Hugo, you got to get on at 5 p.m. So you got to get on at five, but here's our calendar. We do a whole bunch of stuff and this is what we did for the week. So this is what we did for the week. So we, on Monday, we did the glitter. We did a keychain. We did an apron. We did a puzzle today. Tomorrow we're doing Shopify settings. And we have a really, a lot of good information on the, on the Facebook group. So if you guys are interested, like right now, we have this little page posted here and it has all of the eco tanks. I made this for you guys um, and it's free. So it has all of the eco tanks, the costs, the sizes that it prints, um, the printers you can't use. We have a lot of good information. We do buy ins. Uh, right now, we're doing a buy in for the UV tumblers. So um, if you guys are interested in the UV tumblers, we're doing a buy in on those right now. Yep, I'll show the puzzle. So we have a lot of good information. Anything that we are doing, it's in the Facebook group. I update it every day. Um, and a lot of the people that are in here right now, you guys know that we are, we do like giveaways. So we just did a um, Starbucks giveaway. No, you don't need a code. You just have to answer the questions. So these are the questions. Okay. Will you be kind? So you need to write an answer. And it says, please no copyright pictures or trademark pictures. And that's it. So as long as you agree to those two things, you're free to enter. Um, but we get, you know, we do giveaways, $5 giveaways to Starbucks, Amazon. I mean, we do a whole bunch of stuff in here. So it's a really good free help. Um, really supportive community. Everyone is on here all the time. You know, we have people posting and helping, doing buy-ins. We have some moderators in there that if I can't get to it, then you guys, they will help you. So definitely join if you need help um, or need accessibility to me. Um, we do a whole bunch of things in here all the time. Um, for the shrink wrap for the 20 ounce tumblers on my website, it says shrink wrap for 20 ounce tumblers. And then there's one for shot glasses. The shot glass would be way too small. Um, but it should say shrink wrap for 20 ounce. Jennifer. And then here's the tumblers. Look at those. They are really cute. Put the lid on it. Yep, a Lenovo will work. That's the laptop I have. I have another laptop. I have a Mac and then I have a Windows and Lenovo will work. And look, I just want you guys to see how big the 30 ounce tumbler is next to the 20. Look at the difference in size. Mm-hmm. Look at how big they are. <laughs> For dad, and then make it uh, non-cheetah print. Yay. Uh, Melly, I'm so happy you got your printer working and, like, your computer all set and squared away. In the words of my eight-year-old goddaughter, I spy Chick-fil-A. As you see right there, we just had Chick-fil-A for dinner. I think, uh, let me see, who 
was, let me see if I can find her picture again. Someone asked before I even made it if they could have it, if they could buy it from me. Let me see if I can find her name. T. Annette. T. Annette really wants it. She was the first one, the first person. Send me an email and we can discuss pricing. But I hope you're okay with the seam. You see like the seam right there? It's not perfect. And that's why I don't want to sell it because I don't think it's perfect. You know? And look, there's the little seam for the baby cup. You can see the progression though. You see like I did this one first. And you see the seam and then you see this one and it's not a big seam, but you can still see it. And that's why, you know, I don't want to sell it. But if you're comfortable with that, then I'm okay. I joined your Facebook page, but where's the buying stuff? Is that on the website? Nope, it's on the Facebook group. Just check and go up to recent and then all of the stuff for the buy-ins will pop up. Um, so the best printer for sublimation, you guys are asking about the printers. So this printer is the 2720. And this one prints 8.5 by 11 or 8.5 by 14. It prints longer, not wider. Okay. And this one costs about $200. So this one is good if you are going to make, you know, the tumblers, right? If you're going to make tumblers if you're going to make trinkets, koozies, coasters, uh, mugs, you can make shirts with this too, you know. But to make a bigger print, you're going to have to split the image and then piece it together. Unfortunately, I just was not willing to learn how to do that. Um, I did not want to. Um, so I saved up and then I got the 15,000. So the 15,000 prints up to 13 by 19. And so you can print bigger prints. So this one is about 200. This one is about 600. Yep. So yeah, any, any sublimation printer, you can print out a transfer and put it on a shirt. Um... And so you can, like she said, splitting an image is not that bad. But I, guys, when I tell you I tried and I was, I was so frustrated. I was crying. I literally just didn't know how to do it. And it was just too frustrating. So I literally saved, saved, saved. And then I got this big boy. So that way I could do bigger prints. And it's been great. And the thing is now I can offer 4X comfortably, right? I can offer the bigger shirts comfortably instead of wondering if I can piece it together. And that's something I'm not good at. But if you're good at it, then this is a great printer for you. But I was not good at it. So don't take that, you know, any type of way. I just was not comfortable doing it. I could not learn it. It wasn't true. I was crying. I like it was really bad. I couldn't figure out how to do it. So it just wasn't for me. So that's why I got this one. Is that true that the ink that comes with the Epson 2760 does not work for sublimation? Yes. When you purchase these printers, when you purchase these printers, these printers do not come with sublimation ink. You have to add the sublimation ink. Yep. Is there a video to teach split, splitting? You would have to go to YouTube, I'm unsure. Is it true that the Epson uh, 2720 is discontinuing? No, I haven't heard anything about that. I just got my Epson today. Just got to find a video. Uh, which program? Silhouette Studio. No, the paper is not more expensive. Now, Becky, I do use the more expensive brand because I sell sublimation transfers. But you could use a sub, and it makes the 13 by 19 prints.
So someone was asking about the sippy cup. The sippy cup, I sell them as blinks on the website. So if you're looking for any of these tumblers, I sell them as blinks. So the 27, um, I said the 2720. <laughs> so the sippy cup, 12 ounce, the 20 ounce, and then the 30 ounce. And then we do sell the glow in the dark tumbler. Let's see if we can turn off the light and then it glows. So let's see if that will work. What is the one to the left? This, this is the 2720. I mean the right, okay, this is the 2720 and this is the 15,000. Twenty seven twenty and fifteen thousand. Can you change the ink to sublimation ink after you finish the regular ink? You can, but you have to just really wait until it's super, super low. And then you're going to have to do a lot of purging um, to get the ink out of the printer. So I'm happy, Whitney, you found the group. So, guys, I'm about to add you. I need blinks, and if you sell screen prints, I need that as well. Okay, sounds good. I found my 2720 at Target from my home, so I was just maxing out your traveling distance. Exactly. Or calling a different state, which is hard to find, both of them. You just have to call. So, Erica, you said if you put this ink in your printer... You're going to have to either A, return the printer and get an empty printer, a new printer that's empty, and then add your sublimation ink. That would probably be your best route. Or you would have to go to YouTube and research how to get the regular ink out and putting sub ink. There are some videos on there. Or you could get syringes and try to pull the ink from the um, tanks. But unfortunately, I, I, I can't steer you the correct way. Yep, see, between two mountains. I found the 15,000 in Connecticut, and I live in Georgia. They shipped the printer to me. Um, I wouldn't recommend Googling sublimation ink. Just use Cosmos. Cosmos ink is the best ink. That is the ink that I use. So I would be careful just using a random ink that you find online because you might use them for one month, and then once it, your ink is gone then you're never going to find them again. A lot of Chinese manufacturers, they are um, putting up sublimation ink and they are taking it down. So be careful. Why two printers? Um, number one is I got this one first and I quickly realized that I needed a bigger printer. So instead of selling this one, I got that one. And the demand is pretty big. So um, I print a lot of sublimation transfers. So that's why I need both printers. I usually have both printers going at the same time. Yep. How long until you get Cosmos Inc.? It just depends on where you live. Okay, and if I get the sublimation, I can print sticker paper on it too? No, you cannot. I live in Alabama, too, and I can't find the 15000 I guess I would check Tennessee or nearby state. Yep. Or even check all the way across the states. Check. I live in Georgia, and I got this one from Connecticut. How long does it last? It just depends. So, as you see in this tank, it's not that empty. This tank is almost empty. So it just depends on how fast and how much you're printing. If you're just printing a couple times a day, then you're not going to you run through your ink fast. It's going to take you months to go through your ink. But if you print hundreds of pages like I do, then it's definitely going to, you're going to use it more. So no, she, Seb, um, she was saying if you, you can sub on sticker paper. She's saying, can you just print the sticker paper out of the printer with the sub ink and you can't I mean you can but you don't want to waste your sublimation ink so the bigger printer it prints up to 13 by 19 
So this prints up to 13 by 19. This only prints 8.5 by 14. That's the biggest. Oh, okay. I just didn't want you to get confused. I wasn't I wasn't saying that you couldn't um, print, you know, on sticker paper, but you can. I was just making sure that you knew that she was saying that she was trying to print just regular sticker paper. But I wouldn't suggest it. I mean, you could, but you're going to be wasting, you know, sub ink. And I wouldn't do that. Um, so, no, I didn't buy it online. All I did, uh, lovely L-E-S-S-I-G, I was calling around to find a 15000 and then my husband's family lives in Connecticut, so I was just like, let me call up to Connecticut and see if they can send me a printer down here. Like, one of his um, sisters can, you know, send me the printer down, and... I was like, let me just call the store up there first to see if they even have it. And he was like, yep, we have it. And I was like, okay, can one of my families come by, one of my family members come by and pay for it and then ship it to me? And they were like, oh, you don't need to do that. We'll just ship it to you. So I paid for it and then they shipped it to me. So once you fill it up with the regular ink, you're going to need... If you're going to fill it up with sublimation ink, you can't print like your packing slips or anything like that. You're going to need another printer. And that's why I have that one over there. It's just a regular inkjet printer. I've had that for like four years. It costs like 50 bucks at Walmart. So I just have that one for like the packing slips. And then I have the two sublimation printers. So this one, the 2720 is 200, the 15,000 is 600 ink. It's the 15,000. If it doesn't have regular ink in it, then yes, you can add sublimation ink instead of the regular ink. It just depends of what you're trying to get, like what you're trying to do. So for the 2720, you can make bigger um, prints, but you have to piece it together. So if you know you want to offer a 2X or a 3X shirt, then I would just go ahead and get the 15,000. It saves you less headache. But if you can't just get the 15000 and you're wanting to just start now, then try to get a smaller printer and then learn how to piece together your images. Um, it can be done. I just, me personally, in my personal opinion, I just was not willing to do it. It was too hard for me. So I, I saved and then I got this one. Jess Sick A Creations. Yes, the 15,000 is good for shirts. Yep, that's fine. TNet, that's fine. Um that's a good question. I I'm not sure. Um I would go I would probably go to Cosmos Inc.'s website and messaging them. They're really good at customer service, and I'm sure you'll have an answer later tonight or tomorrow. They're really good about contacting you back. So I would just check to see with them. But me personally, I don't have a, a need for the neon ink, so I probably wouldn't use it. Hey, Lady Leo. If you could, um, I'm sending, I'm typing out my PayPal. So you can just PayPal the money. So if you could look at the screen, I just um, added the email and that way you can PayPal um, the money over. Oh, 
Okay? All right, guys. Any more questions? Okay. The 2760 is a good printer. All right, guys. Well, I'm about to head off. Before we get off, I want to show you guys the glow-in-the-dark tumblers. It's been charging the whole time we've been on live. So let me turn off the lights, and then we can see if it's going to glow. So let me leave it sitting right here, and then let me turn off the lights, and let's see if it's going to glow. Yep, we did make the cups. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Let's see if it's going to glow. There you go. Those are the glow-in-the-dark tumblers. These are for sublimation, so they do glow in the dark. You have to let them charge up with the sunlight or some type of light, and this is the glow-in-the-dark tumbler. Really, really, really cool. I love the color. And these are in stock. So these are in stock on our website on Peachtree Market Co. So we have the 20 ounce, the sippy cups, the 30 ounce, and the glow in the darks. Now I'll bring it closer. But this is a 20 ounce glow in the dark sublimation tumbler. So these are on the website. And yeah, I saw someone put the perfect um, design on the tumbler. And it was the scene from Alice in the Wonderland with the cat. And he is up in the moon. And then it has like all the different characters. And it was Alice in the Wonderland themed. So it was so cool. Because when she turned off the lights, it went to glow in the dark. Super, super cool. Super cool. And there you go. And you see after you turn the light back on, it's just white again. So really, really cool. I'm super excited about those. If you're wanting those, they are in stock right now. We will have more. If they sell out, we will have more tomorrow back in stock. Um, but if you guys have any other questions, let me know, message me, send me a DM, whatever you're needing, we are going to help. These are the designs that I'm going to add. This design I'm going to add tomorrow. I think it's cute for summer. So I'm going to add that tomorrow. Tomorrow is Shopify. So we're going to talk about Shopify. And um, the two tones, the ombres, I don't know when those are going to be back in stock. Um, so hopefully we'll have them soon. I just don't know when we're going to get them back. All right, guys, any more questions before we head off? It was super fun making these tumblers. Super cute. I love them. Oh, yeah. Hopefully we can get them in. I'm still waiting because the colors that we picked are not the ones that I thought. So hopefully we can get them in like Friday, if not Saturday, but we should get them. I just, I'm not, I'm not sure. 
I know we'll get some in. I just don't know the colors, you know? All right, guys. Any more questions? Let me know. Don't forget, tomorrow the restock is going to be live at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we're getting the, we're adding more 15 ounce mugs, the sublimation um, wraps for the 20 ounce tumblers, and they will work for 30 ounce too. Um, the notepads, the shot glasses, the shooters, and the keychains, all of those are going to be in stock tomorrow, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it takes me a while. I usually do it like once a week. Um, so I have to down, the process is I have to download all the videos to my phone and then upload all the videos to YouTube and make all the thumbnails. So I typically do like the previous week, um, one day out of the week so like friday night or saturday morning because uh, it does take a long time for it to upload to youtube all right guys any more questions before we head off any more questions you are so welcome I hope you guys enjoyed me doing this tumbler that y'all have been begging me to do. I think it came out good. Happy about it. Any more questions? Awesome. Uh, my name is Anissa. You're welcome. All right, guys. So I'm about to head off. Any last questions? Any last questions before I head off? I'm about to go finish this movie with my husband. Any more questions? Is it... Is it Katisha? I want to make sure I'm saying it right. So forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. Is it Katisha? It's Peachtree Market Co. That's my YouTube. Okay, good. I'm happy I got it right. Um okay, I'll check I'll check your um your question as soon as I get off. Okay, guys, any more questions? I'm about to head off. Last call for questions. Last call for alcohol. <laughs> okay, Lady Leo 0808. The PayPal is Peachtree Market Co. at gmail.com. So it's just my name. It's Peachtree Market Co. at gmail.com. And it should be in your confirmation email that Calendly sends you. So it's peachtreemarketco at gmail.com. All right, guys. Well, I'm about to head off. Um, if you guys have any more questions, just let me know. Send me a DM. Message me on our website. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget about the restock. So we're getting a lot of new things in tomorrow um, and restocking a lot of products that you guys are wanting. I got on late, but do you have sizing for tumbler designs? Um, I do. Could you send me an email? I can send you the um, measurements. All right, guys, well, I'm headed off. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget about the restock, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? 
Have a great day. Bye-bye.